Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense. If this is the first time you're landing on my channel, I really appreciate you stopping by. Hope you enjoy the review that's coming very shortly. If you've been following my channel, thanks so much for your support. I'm really happy that you're here. Today we're going to be talking about Versace Eros Flame. Pretty appropriate name for a fragrance that seems to be incendiary in terms of the way people have been talking about it. I think it's probably settled down quite a bit now, but when it was first released, it was launched back in 2018. It is a flanker of the original Eros, which was launched back in 2012. So funny, someone said on the internet, Eros, the original Eros, is for when you're hooking up. Eros Flame is after you've hooked up. I guess it's an interesting way of looking at it. What they meant, I think, is it's the original Eros, again, which was launched in 2012, was a Fougier olfactive group. I'll just put a little definition right up here. Well, if you've never heard of it before or haven't had a chance to look it up and find out what it is. So Versace Eros Flame does follow the beat of a different drummer. It takes, it, the, it takes the fragrance in a completely different direction. Insofar as the original Eros was more muted, you know, it was more enticing, it was more seductive, a little bit more mysterious. Whereas this Eros is like just a, a kinetic beast in your face that tells you what it wants, knows what it wants, and goes straight for the kill. You know, it's hard to sum up a fragrance in just a few short words or a few short sentences, but if I had to, that's what exactly I would say about Eros Flame. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Let's talk a little bit about the presentation. And when I say a little bit, there's not a lot to say. The bottle is awesome. It is completely embossed with the Versace logo that we've all come to know and love. It stands out about almost like a quarter of an inch from the bottle itself. And there's that design around it that's very similar to the other Versace design bottles that we've seen. And the cap has the logo on the very top as well, the gold cap. Now the red bottle is amazing to look at on the shelf, so aesthetically it's very, very pleasing. And why shouldn't it be? We've come to expect such things from designers like Versace, so we look for those aesthetically pleasing presentations, those bottles that, that, that are going to look great in our collection, and that, that look great, and also follow form and function in our, in our hand as we're spraying it. And Versace Eros Flame does all those things. So that's really all we need to say about the presentation. That way we can move on and talk about what's truly important and that's the juice. Let's get into the notes a little bit and see what makes it different than the original release. Top notes include chinato, lemon, pepper, mandarin orange, and rosemary. So right from the get-go you know you're going to get a lot of citrus, just a citrus burst. Well, because it's such a cousin of Versace um, Man Eau Fraiche, and Versace Eros Flame is an Eau de Parfum, so it's got a little bit more of the essential oils in it. Right from the opening, you get that kinetic burst, just like a, a winning football team busting through a breakaway banner. You get that kinetic burst of, of sweet citrus, along with the florals that are coming in the, in the middle notes, because the middle notes, there aren't too many of them, because they're not used to to a great degree, honestly. You've got rose, you've got geranium, and you have more pepper. Pepper, 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 pepper. There's a lot of pepper in this. Should come with some pepper grinder. But that's, again, not necessarily a bad thing because that's what contributes to its kinetic vibe, its, its energetic spirit and vibe. But carrying all those into the base, you've got Texas cedar, patchouli, tonka bean, vanilla, sandalwood, and oak moss. Now the interesting thing about the Texas cedar that's used in Eros Flame is that them and the, they're within the juniper family. And juniper is well known for kind of mimicking the smell of sandalwood. Now the uh, other cedars, like the Virginian cedar, it has higher notes. Now the Texas cedar is a little bit more on the lower, the muted side. It's very deep, rich, and full. And so that's what gives Eros Flame its full-bodied feel. Now, sometimes people have said it kind of feels hot or cold. Uh, you know how when you run hot water over your hand that it can mimic the sensation of cool as well as heat? It's Eros Flame is similar to that. So if there is a negative aspect to Eros Flame, it would be in how the open and the mid and the bass are really just a nod to the bass notes. So it's kind of like a missed opportunity. You get that rich, super strong slap in your face of the sweet citrus, uh, kind of floral citrus homage in the very beginning, kind of a vignette of those different notes. 
and you start thinking this is going to be a really complicated, complex, well-rounded fragrance, and then it just goes away. It dissipates, literally. Occasionally, as I was wearing it, I would catch a, a whiff of maybe geranium, maybe a chinado note. I couldn't necessarily decide, uh, discern that very, very often. Uh, maybe some of the rose, but just as you thought you were discerning that note, it was just as quickly gone. So it wasn't used to great effect here. They do dissipate really, really quickly, but what you're left with is more of a woodsy base with that sandalwood. You've got a, the pepper does keep it vibrant throughout the life of Eros, I will say that, and that's what it's there for. But the tonka being the vanilla and the woods just kind of create a very warm, well-rounded club banger, to be quite honest. Now, I don't want to categorize this only as a club scent, but I have to say the first time that I wore it, there was this club that I would go to quite frequently in Charlotte, North Carolina called Phoenix. It was a relatively small place, but they would get a lot of big name producers like Marcus Schultz, BT, saw Cosmic Gate there once, saw quite a few, but it was a really small area. So when you were on the floor dancing, it was really packed. And this is the kind of fragrance that you would smell there. Because, and it went really well with that, that high energy, high spirit, youthful vibe. But it's definitely not a fragrance that I would categorize just for young people only. I really don't like when I see that, when people say that. You can't really do that. First of all, being young and being youthful is not necessarily an age, it's, it's a spirit. It's how you carry yourself, it's a philosophy. It's how you feel about life, how you carry and handle yourself. You can't qualify all of that by an age. So if you're 60 years old and you wanna wear Versace Eros Flame, absolutely do so. It's not inappropriate and you don't have to spray it on and go to the club. It doesn't have to be a hookup fragrance. It does work well in those situations and those that are using it for that, absolutely more power to you, that's fine. But don't hate on it and don't say that it's not for this, it's for that, and it's this, it's only for that. You can do that, but you, you make yourself look small-minded and simple-minded and like a hater and nobody wants to look that way unless you do and then you're doing a great job, so keep it up. Ultimately, does Eros Flame deserve all of the hate that has been given it? I think that people are seeing now that it doesn't. Uh, does it last really well? well? Let's talk about the tenacity, the longevity, the sillage, the projection. A lot doesn't necessarily need to be said about that because it is an eau de parfum. There have been a few uh, eau de parfums in the past that haven't produced like anticipated, Eros Flame is definitely not one of those. When I first sprayed this on my arm, I sprayed two to three sprays and then I realized that was probably too much because my wife and I were getting ready to go out into an area where we we're gonna be surrounded by people and she said, honey, people are gonna smell that and kind of be off put. And I'm like, well, so what, let them, you know, I was kind of like, who cares? But the more I thought about it, the more I realized, yeah, it's probably not a good idea to, you know, wear that heavily or that loud of a fragrance in a tight-knit situation unless it is a club and this wasn't going to be a club. What I did is I went into the bathroom and I washed my arm with like a, we had this lemon fragrance soap or whatever. I suds it up, washed it off, but it was still there. And later on, we came back home later on in the evening and this was 12, what, 10 hours later. So 10 hours later, we come home, we sit down to watch a movie and my wife is like, oh, you still smell very strongly of Eros Flame. And I'm like, okay. So I went into the bathroom, scrubbed it off for the second time with another soap sudsy session, ended up having to take my shirt off and take a shower before it would be completely off. And even then you could still smell kind of like a faint fragrance of uh, the woodsy and a little bit of that sweet mandarin orange and lemon, the citrus there was a little bit and that's one thing to keep in mind, especially with an eau de parfum, is you can reinvigorate this fragrance up to 13, 14 hours by spritzing in a little bit of water. Whether it happens naturally, if you're caught out in the rain, or whether you throw some water on the areas, whether it's on the chest, or your, your arms, or your wrist, or wherever you've sprayed it, put, spritz a little bit of water in that, and it will reinvigorate the fragrance for another additional two to three hours, sometimes longer. Anyone out there that has said that Versace Eros Flame is a a projection is horrible on projection and, and doesn't last very long and isn't tenacious is suffering from scent exhaustion or anosmia because that is absolutely blatantly wrong I, I, mean, I can attest to that and I'm just your every man I'm just your average guy and I have just average senses and so I would absolutely know if this was not a good longevity exemplar and it really truly is so in terms of getting your money's worth you absolutely will. Now, should you go run out right now and buy a 100 ml bottle of it? Well, sure, if you have a disposable income and wanna do that, that's fine. 
but I highly recommend trying you know a tester first these are very easy to come by and this actually will last well guys that's going to wrap up my review of Versace Eros Flame I hope you've enjoyed my review giving some food for thought in terms of this fragrance. It's not deserving of the hatred that has been given of it. However, caution is to be used on any eau de parfum because it is a lot stronger, has a lot more of the essential oils in it. So it's something that you want to use sparingly because it can be very loud if you spray more than two sprays anywhere on your body. So you just have to be a little bit wary. For those of you that have been following my channel, thank you so much for staying with me and for supporting me. It truly means so much. I really appreciate it. Please continue coming by and if you haven't already, hit that bell icon. That way you know when my daily content is dropped. As always, like, subscribe, and comment. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and I'll see you next time.